Okay, I'm going to quickly candle the fertile lovebird egg again, just using that same kind of easy method where you take a small flashlight and then cup it around your um, index finger and thumb like that until you kind of make a little cradle to put the egg in. A little nest kind of area. Really care you gotta be really careful. But anyway, quickly, this is one where you can clearly see the blood vessel or blood vessels. Excuse me. Kind of in the air or air sac area towards the end. And then the baby will be this dark area. Let's see. The dark portion of the egg and it just starts to get larger and larger as it develops. And like I said, sometimes if you're lucky See if it's not really a well, tiny bit moving now, but as they get older, you really see them moving around in there. And towards sometimes even the day of that they hatch, you can hear them pecking in there too, which is kind of cute. So, a little peep noises. Oops. There you go. That's a good angle. Clear, clear, good, and uh, bright red blood vessels. Good sign. So definitely have a fertile lovebird egg here and this is just candling it the sort of easy easy way without a box just using your flashlight and and uh, thumb and index finger there you go and remember be very gentle very careful and you can hear the birds in the background uh, we try to do it very as quickly as possible so we don't stress them out, but they're pretty used to it by now over the years by doing this. Okay, so that's it for now.